Welcome to Cooking with Chef Tuan, and today we're going to be making some Vietnamese charcuterie, two kinds. One is called Jia Luo, which is a pork loaf wrapped in banana leaf and steamed. The other one is called Jia Jian, which is a pork loaf patty that is fried. Now, this is an awesome gateway into Vietnamese cuisine, as it's kind of like a mortadella or bologna. It's, it's the everyday charcuterie or the cold cut. You can find these in banh mi's, noodle soups, rice dishes, even breakfast platters. It's everywhere. All right, so let's get started. And as usual, all the ingredients will be listed in the description box down below. Now, when making this pork loaf, it's best not to use fresh garlic or fresh onions or whatever it is. It's best to use dried herbs and dried spices just because it'll keep longer in the fridge if you do it this way. So just add all your spices, the salt, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of fish sauce, and then baking powder is what's very important. This will help it become really light and fluffy. And cold water will help the meat emulsify. Yes, we are making an emulsion, just like how you would when you make bologna or mortadella. And depending on how lean your pork is, you might need to add a little bit more water just to get it so it's nice and smooth, just like how you see here. I'm just taking half this mixture, putting it into plastic wrap. And as you can see, I'm pulling it towards me a little bit to try to get all the air pockets out. And then you want to twist and torque the edges so it forms a nice, even loaf. And then we're going to put this in the fridge to let it chill. So split the remaining pork mixture into two. And then with one portion, you're going to flatten it out to about an inch thick disc. That will be for frying. And then with the other half, roll it up in plastic just like before but make it a little bit thinner and longer like how you see I'm doing here. And this will go into the freezer for about 30 minutes so they can firm up. So it'll be easier to handle before we drop them into the fryer. So this is how we're gonna start rolling our pork loaf. We're gonna put one banana leaf down and with the ribs going this way. And then we'll get another one with the ribs going the opposite way. And then we're going to take a third leaf and then with the dark side facing up and the ribs going the other way, this is how we're going to do it. Now I did dry the banana leaves and spray it with a little bit of nonstick spray just so the pork won't stick to the banana leaf. And then just roll it up really tight. I like to trim off the edges, just stand it on one side just like so and cut off the ends of the banana leaf just like I did here and just fold in the edges and make sure that you fold them down and so it's nice and taut and then do the same thing for the other side. So it's almost like wrapping a Christmas present and don't worry if the banana leaves are a little bit loose. This plastic will help it tighten up. As you can see, I'm pulling the plastic in really tight and pulling the edges in really tight so it's nice and secure and then just roll it tight as tight as you can and then let this sit in the fridge to firm up a little bit while we get our steamer ready. And that's it. As you can see here, we have the two pork patties ready for frying and the one wrapped in the banana leaf ready to steam. And here goes into the steamer for 30 minutes. And while this guy's all nice and cozy in its sauna, it gives us enough time to preheat our oil to about 345, 350, so we can fry these two guys until they're a nice golden brown. As you can see, there's a thin skin forming around the edge or around the outside, and that's exactly what you want. And this is jiajian, or fried pork loaf. So you can see these guys are already starting to float to the top. I used to watch my grandmother make these all the time. Um, when we were part of church group, you know, she would make like, like 50 of these guys, and maybe like 100 of these, and we just sell them at church. So I miss making this with my grandmother. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just having fun. I'm just thinking about right now, you know, like sometimes those log competitions where you have two people on the log and they're running on it and try to get the other person to fall in the water. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm thinking about right now. <laughs> Who said cooking can't be fun? <laughs> yeah, I think these guys are almost done. I'm going to get a wire rack and we're going to take them out. You hear that? They're singing. They're saying, hey, we're done. Take us out. All right. So look at this color. This is what you want. Nice, light, golden brown. We're gonna take these out, put them on a wire rack, and then let them cool. Perfect, golden, brown, and delicious. Look at how beautiful these guys are. 
All right, it's time for the unveiling. 30 minutes is up. And let's see what we got. Ooh. Wow. The aroma of the banana leaves just hits you right in the face. Yeah, this guy's done. So we'll take this out and we'll let it rest for about 30 minutes before we uh, before we cut into it. Just let it sit in here and rest inside its banana leaf and plastic wrap. Let's look at this piece and let's see how we did. Let's cut through the inside. Oh, that is perfect. Look at how spongy that is. Perfectly made. Awesome. Let's check out this. Should be the same. That is just gorgeous. And then look at the outside. You have a nice, chewy, I don't know, it's not crunchy, it's not crispy, but it's nice and, it has a nice chewy skin to it. I like this. All right, so let's try this. Mmm. Perfect. Right amount of salt, spice, Get the umami from the fish sauce. Winner. Let's go check out the other guy. All right, and then here is our steamed one, our steamed guy. All right, let's see. This one, growing up in a Vietnamese household, I mean, this was like, I guess how, you know, in America, kids grow up with ham and bologna and, you know, all that stuff in their fridge. So this is our equivalent to that. Oh, look at that steam that's coming out of here. Smells so good. <laughs> All right, I'm really excited about this one. Okay, it's really hot. All right, so let's keep the let's keep the banana leaf on. And let's just cut through this. Oh, yeah. Guys. Oh. Look at that. Hey, you hear the birds in the back. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. And it's got the little hinge or the little tint of green from the banana leaf, just like you get at the store. Oh, this is awesome. All right. Oh, let's check out the texture too. Look at it. Nice and spongy texture. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's try this guy. Yep. Yep. Just like in the store. Yeah. So awesome. You smell the banana leaf. A little bit of fish sauce. The spices. Oh yeah. <laughs> This is pretty dope. And now it's time to serve up our jalo and our jian with some classic Vietnamese flavors, some fresh chilies, some pickled daikon and carrots, some really nice crunchy pickled mustard greens. And then we also made a nook mam or fish sauce dip to tie everything together. Look at this gorgeous plate. Now I'm gonna try it with some of this fish sauce and some of the pickled vegetables, this pickled daikon and carrot right here. Very traditional snack. You know, when you go to Vietnamese parties, you'll see this. And then I also have some pickled mustard greens. Let's try this with the, the steamed one. All right, let's try it with the pickled mustard green. You hear that crunch? Pickled mustard greens have a really, really nice crunch to it. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe. Leave comments down below. Tell me what you want to see, what you like about the video, what I can improve on. And I would really appreciate that. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And as always, peace.